Hi, my name is Fred Kruger, and I'm a volunteer at the Granite Falls Historical Museum. My goal here tonight is to give you a quick demonstration of an online mapping tool we have that's designed to allow you to explore Snohomish County back in the early days, about 1910. Now, the online tools we have have URLs that are so long, I won't try to give them to you. I recommend instead that you simply go to the Granite Falls Museum website where we have a very short URL, www.gfhistory.org, and click on the research button. You'll see that one of the research tools is the ability to overlay historic maps of Snohomish County. If you click on that map, you'll get a word description of the various maps we have available online for your use. The first one that's mentioned says it allows you to explore Snohomish County about 1910. If you click on that, you go directly to an online map using only your browser. No need to use any sort of special mapping tools. These maps are so easy to use that I'm going to close this instruction box and explain how it's used. This is a scope that you can drag with your mouse. We'll put it off to the side here. You'll see the utility of that later. On the left-hand side, you see a plus. That's to zoom in. You'll see a minus. That's to zoom out. And you can drag the map wherever you want it. If you zoom in and zoom out enough that you get lost, you can click on the little home button and it brings you back with the Homish County in the middle again. So let's zoom in. And you'll notice that as we zoom in, there are some faint outlines that show the 1910 maps. The maps will appear when indeed they'll be good enough to look better than ink blots. If we continue to zoom in, you'll notice that as we zoom in, in here, it just happens to be Granite Falls. The pieces of property were large enough back in the day that the map makers had no trouble writing in the owner's names. But in the downtown areas, the lots were so small, they sort of had to pencil with the downtown areas. However, if we continue to zoom in, you'll see that they also did detailed maps of the downtown area. And we can zoom in far enough now to see some of the owner names and the street structures. In most of the towns in Snohomish County, if we continue to zoom in, we'll see Sanborn fire insurance maps, which showed every building and the function of every building in town. In this corner, it says we sold soft drinks and cigars. And on this corner, it says we sold confectionery, cigars, and stationery. Now, this was a logging town. I don't think we were selling soft drinks on the corners, but some of the maps we have were done during prohibition. So you couldn't admit on a map what you might actually be selling. But on these maps, we have red arrows, and if you click on any of the arrows, you will actually see what you would have seen had you been standing on the arrow looking in that direction back in the day. You can click on the small thumbnail, and it shows you the B&B place, which was a tavern, and next to it was a barber shop that said baths on the window. If you look at the building next to this, it says room to buy fire, and sure enough, the year this map was drawn, that was the big hotel that burned down. If we click on the picture, it clearly shows that it was ruined by fire, the false front having toppled at an angle and the roof being completely gone. Now, one of the nice features of this map is that it has a search bar. You can type in an address, maybe your own address, or a location. Let's type in Muckleteo. And we get a choice of things here. I'll click on Muckleteo Lighthouse Park. Here it Zoom the map, centered it on Muckleteo. It's zoomed in close enough that the 1910 detail maps are already showing up. But if we continue to zoom in further, we will, as I said before, start to see these Sanborn fire insurance maps. Now, this is sort of an interesting view because here we have a picture that's looking in the distance at something called a ferry wharf. Ball grounds on the left, grandstand on the right. So that if we click on that picture, we should actually see a ball field, some grandstands, and a ferry wharf in the distance. Here we'll click on the thumbnail, and sure enough, there's the ferry wharf, here's the ball field, here are the grandstands. So we hope that you can take advantage of this map to look around, take, take a, an adventurous trip around the county. Meanwhile, I thank you for your time. Please have a good evening and enjoy the simplified URL to get access to the map.